At the Barn, brought to you by OLG and Ontario Horse Racing. You're not allowed to be there. <laughs> My name is Amanda. I started working with horses when I was about 10. I would come in on the weekends with my parents and holidays and summers and pretty much then is when I realized I wanted to work with horses. My first job was working for my dad walking hots and mostly I didn't want to walk though so I stayed in the stalls as much as I could. <laughs> I started with Mike when I was I think 17 and I have left for a little bit and then I came back. I've been back for the last six years. I usually get here between 3.30 quarter to four. <laughs> Just mucking out the stalls, cleaning the buckets, grooming the horses, getting them ready to train, and then bathing them and doing them up again afterwards. We kind of strive to you know, keep them happy and do everything we can to keep them calm and enjoy their job. And you know, I mean, it is a job for them, but we want them to enjoy what they're doing because I think you're going to get more out of them if they enjoy what their life is about. I think, you know, to have to get up at the hours that we do, it definitely has to be something you love doing. And it's just something that's just there for some reason. I, I don't even know what it is. There's just something special about them that makes you want to do this every day and come in. And I, you know, I guess when you come in and the first thing they do is holler for you in the morning and you know that they know you and that there's something between the two of you. I don't really know what it is to be honest. It's just something that's there. And I think you either feel that way or you don't about them. Mega Gray is very nice to be around. He's a nice colt. He's always friendly. Kind of a little bit on the playful side though. Uh, but he's very, very good to be around. We've had them all since they were babies. We've seen them at the farm when they were, you know, weanlings and yearlings. So you really do get to see them grow up and progress. And, you know, you're definitely proud of them when you see them. And, you know, you know all the little things that they've overcome in their careers. And it's definitely this proud moment when you see them, you know, accomplish something. Even, you know, for us, some of them, you know, it's not a stake race. Some of them, it's just getting to the races or just winning, you know, anything. You know, it's just we've seen what they've overcome from their whole life. So we definitely get that, that, you know, we get to see their whole careers. <laughs>